Ben Anderson went to Dubai to examine the living conditions of the laborers who are working on some of the city's most recognizable projects. This is his debrief. The workers are coming from very poor countries, mostly Pakistan, Bangladesh and India. They're often villagers, often uneducated or illiterate. Uh, don't have access to the internet. So when a corrupt labor agent approaches them and offers them what seems like a fantastic salary, they don't know any better. We did speak to quite a few workers who were saying that when they go back, they're gonna do all they can to discourage friends and family from, from going to the UAE. There are still millions of people being taken in by this every year. The conditions they find themselves in are very close to slavery. It's certainly indentured servitude. They can't leave a company and work for another company. They can't leave the country because of the debt that they find themselves in. And when you look at the deception that's involved in getting them to the UAE in the first place, the lawyer and a researcher at Human Rights Watch says it, it, it certainly looks like a trafficking network. I think it falls just short of slavery, but, but only just. I only knew of one NGO that was specifically tasked with looking after the rights of migrant workers. The embassies of the countries that these people come from do a very good job, and Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch. They've done a fantastic job and continue to do a fantastic job, but under very difficult circumstances, you know, they're sometimes barred for, from entering the country. You know, it's pretty depressing seeing how many Western companies and tourists, all kinds of people flock there and still describe it and see it as this paradise in the Middle East, ignoring what's right in front of their nose. I've probably been to Dubai 30 times. It's impossible for me to know, but it feels like what the British Empire must have felt like. There's a, a minority class who rule over everybody else and really treat them like dirt, um, treat them like an underclass, a servant class. And that's very prevalent throughout the Gulf states. It's not just laborers, it's cleaners, cooks. Uh, we've heard some horrific stories about housemaids being abused by their employers. And it's a very big problem affecting probably more than 10 million people. The conditions of the guys who are building the Trump International Golf Course were the worst I've ever seen. Having guys living 21 to a room with rats running around above them, having to work extremely hard in extreme heat for uh, two years just to break even, just to pay off the debts they accrued in getting there. I think the problem is inherent to the UAE, not Trump. Trump is just the latest in a long line of, of Westerners who have gone there. Uh, taken, I assume, large amounts of money and turned a blind eye to something which is very obvious and very well documented. 